Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video we are talking about Hydrogen Fuel Cell Technology Hydrogen fuel cell technologies have big potential to be used in vehicle or portable power plants as a clean energy supply solution. But there are challenges in its implementation such that currently most of the hydrogen is produced from fossil fuels such as natural gas or coal, which are not renewable, while the hydrogen produced from water electrolysis by using renewable power is still expensive. Furthermore, if hydrogen is produced from a big hydrogen plant, it still needs to be transported to the user end and stored at the user end, which raised concerns of its safety. It would be a good option to study the potential of using liquid fuel, which are easy to be stored and transported as a feedstock for on-site hydrogen production in vehicles or hydrogen filling stations, Di Marco Bernardino 2017. Please help us grow our channel by typing the word subscribed in the comment section below. Among various ethanol to hydrogen processes studied, ethanol autothermal reforming, which is a combination of the exothermic ethanol partial oxidation process and endothermic ethanol steam reforming process, is most suited for mobile application as it doesn't require external heat load, WHO 2015. Furthermore, ethanol water mixture can be used in the autothermal reforming process, thus the high energy cost paid to remove all water in the ethanol production by distillation and zeolite adsorption can be saved, DeLuga 2004. To achieve thermal neutral, for every mole of ethanol, 1.78 mole of water and 0.61 mole of oxygen is needed, Grashinsky 2012, to produce 4.78 mole of hydrogen. But there is still a significant amount of work as indicated by the negative change in the free energy across the process. To utilize this work, a work balance target at delta G equals zero was considered and analyzed by targeting techniques. The demonstration of hydrogen fuel cell technology in the energy sector has been pursued by the government globally to offer better energy security to society and to curtail environmental degradation. It has been realized that, whether the technological facets are thoroughly investigated, the social aspects are still not eye-catching. Public's opinion and contribution is the key requirement for the wide commercialization of this technology, Rath et al. 2019. Thus, the initial steps like many workshops, small camps and surveys are now being carried out to assure the people about the assets and liabilities of H2FC technology. Cherryman et al. 2008 has investigated the response of different people around the cities of Europe and depicted that the preliminary step to mature the technology is to make them aware by providing them correct and adequate information regarding the price, safety, production and advantages of H2FC technology. Additionally, some telephonic survey was conducted by choosing 1350 people in the years 2003-2005 during H2FC bus trials at Australia, London and Berlin, it was witnessed that some of them are not aware of the practical applications of the technology while some others have not any idea about FC concept, Cherryman et al., 2008. It is observed through various surveys, Itauka et al., 2017, Roche et al., 2010, Karenfil, 2020, Wiston et al., 2019 that the public is not receiving detailed and properly structured ideas comparatively about the FC technology for which they are not willing to adopt the technology smoothly. Only representing the products with their price, specifications in one particular area like fuel, storage systems, or production costs, it is difficult to convince the people for the acceptance of the technology. Thus, not from a scientific and technological point of view, rather adopting some social and easily understandable method, people can believe and realize the main facts about the system. They analyzed that the views from proficient elicitation can be considered for designing the technology pathways which can guide for the further implementation of analytical models. According to the report from the experts, many realized that the aim of $30 per kW net can make a positive impact on the public for the adoption of H2FC technology. Out of the experts, many projected that the DOS target for the longer lifetime of the FC stack could be fulfilled by 2050 and some others predicted that the aim for the median stack power density can be reached by 2035, Houchins and James, 2019. If these goals can be accomplished, then hydrogen FCs can come easily in the mainstream, the transport sector ultimately would get a breakthrough achievement. 
Then, undoubtedly H2FC will be a top contestant to beat the battery-powered electric vehicles and even the other kind of fuel cells. While electrification, automation and various hybrid and alternate fuel solutions have already attracted a lot of attention for future sustainable transport, the hydrogen fuel cell technology has been overshadowed. Although the fuel cell electric vehicles, FCEVs have improved their efficiency, safety and reliability, they have been overlooked by other electric-driven technologies, in particular BEVs. In addition, the fuel cell technology faces several challenges like, the poor hydrogen infrastructure, complexity of design, high manufacturing and maintenance costs and difficulties in matching the performance of BEVs. The fuel cell is connected to an electric motor, which in turn is connected to the wheels. In principle the fuel cell acts as a battery, and provides electric power to the electric motor, which then transfers power to the wheels. Excess energy from the fuel cell is supplied to a battery, which may use the stored energy for climbing uphill and for tough acceleration. The purpose of fuel cells for transportation is to provide propulsive power to a vehicle, directly or indirectly, i.e., as range extenders. The following application areas are possible and under development, one forklifts, scooters, light-duty vehicles, LDV, two buses and trucks, three trains and trams, four ferries or even cargo ships and smaller boats, five manned light aircraft as well as, six unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs and, seven unmanned undersea vehicles, UUVs. For passenger cars the PEMFC is the fuel cell in focus. Toyota and Honda lead the industry in development of fuel cell technology. FIG. 11.1 depicts a conjectured layout of the internal structure of an FCEV and the main components, FC stack, hydrogen tanks, electric motor for the powertrain are highlighted together with some auxiliary units. The vision of an energy economy powered by sustainably produced and freely available supplies of hydrogen remains in many ways as alluring as it was when first articulated by Jules Verne through his character Cyrus Harding in 1874. However, in reality many of the technologies required to produce, distribute, and convert hydrogen to useful energy services are still beset by technical and economic challenges in comparison with other equivalent technologies. Moreover, the energy costs of producing hydrogen from a particular energy resource are in many cases hard to justify compared with using that resource in a more direct fashion, which can be cheaper, involve fewer energy losses, and in many cases involve no more pollution than the hydrogen route. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to receive our future content as it is released. Thanks for watching.